There's some super history around here going back a long, long way. And I was looking at the map recently, actually, in about 1813, so what's that, just over 200 years ago, all this was just fields, just fields and market gardens. And in the last couple of hundred years, it's come to what it is now, and of course expanded right the way out westward. So that's one bit of the history. But what I understand you've done is lots of research. You've been talking to people, you've been learning, um, and you've got quite a story, a range of stories to tell about this area, this locality. So what I'm really interested to hear is what, what you've learnt. I think my favourite part was, I think it was the Teen Tech project. We were a part of the Teen Tech um, project and it was really nice because it made us realise that like if we do like stay in Reading when we're adults like we can like control the future kind of and it was so much like fun to learn about the history of the Oxford Road and there is like so much more that we haven't even speak about yet. The Oxford Road has a long history of public transport, dating back to the start of horse buses and the development of Great Western Road. The line between London and Reading, 1840. With the opening of the hospital, a number of new churches and importantly Reading Football Club in 1871 and the end of the Second World War, the population of Reading had grown to over 30,000 people, which led to a desperate need of improved transport in the area. In 1887, in 1887, the Tramways Corporation was given permission to build a tram line between Rock Barracks and Cemetery Junction. Work began quickly, and by 1879, horse-drawn trams running every 20 minutes on the road. So what we did is we found, we researched on some birds that were in the garden and in Reading, and these are our pictures. We have to draw the birds, and we have to make a frame with it, and we have to put it outside the garden. My best subject is art, yeah. so that's why I love drawing. These are the pictures that um, my group did. So like, we did posters so we can put them in the community garden so we can show like how many birds are there and what type of birds are going to the community garden. One morning, all year five and six, a number of our teachers visited the garden and decided to make a positive impact for the families to the garden. We made the owl hotel and the bird box as well, and yeah, to, so that owls can like nest in here and birds in the smaller one. We did it so that we can encourage more wildlife to come to the garden and like help them nest and stuff and to make the garden look nicer and make it better. Uh, we're going to put it on a tree. What did you learn new about building? Um, that is very, very hard to saw wood. <laughs> so we all split it up into different groups um, for team, it's a team tech. Um, so we had to make a modern inve investigation. Um, so we created, so my group created a water park. We put like, a lot of thought into it about the changing rooms, the pool area and stuff, things like that. It's because there's no water parks on the Oxford Road, so we decided to make a water park. What was your favourite part of doing this? Decorating the inside and partnering up with new people. Firstly, in our group, we have a part where you can um, dress up as a favourite character and make your own look. Our group had a really good time when we were building our castle. We painted our castle paint and blue so that it can attract children to me. Caroline asked us to give us give her some recipes and I gave the recipe of this white chicken and it got selected. So that was your recipe? Yeah. And that came from your family? Yeah. So does your mum cook it all the time? Yeah. She cook it. It's delicious. <laughs> Have you made this as well? No, just no. your mum. Just your Yeah, I sometimes helped her. Oh, you sometimes help her. That's lovely. Reading buses has one of the most environmentally friendly feature vehicles in the UK, with over 58 super green biomass buses, making it quieter, cleaner, and greener. 
We were making cars because we were learning about circuits and then we had to make our own car could run on battery with a motor. We had to try and make it as light as possible because if it was too heavy then the, bat the battery wouldn't be strong enough. So that was, I think, our main thing that we had to do. Beforehand, we learnt about how to do circuits and stuff. We were told how to do it and we'd do it and then we'd find out, we'd like experiment with it and how to find different ways of things. I think the other class made some actual like buses so we might put it together. Um, one of the best things I did was probably building those cars because it was very fun to like build the circuit and see that it actually moved, like it started going. They are quite environmentally friendly, but they're not fully, like maybe they could be fully environmentally friendly and electric, so that there's no carbon emissions from it. Some of them moved, but some of them didn't really work because they didn't move because some of them are too heavy. And then me and a champong and our other friend, um, we helped to like try and fix it to make it move. But like, so we had to try and figure out a way to make it lighter and be able to move. First off, we tried to like move like the battery to make it even on both sides because most of them they were like on one side of the car, so it was tilting. Wheels, we tried to make it more secure because they kept moving about a lot. Like on the here, we didn't do it for this one, but like it was hot glued down, and then the cars kept moving like this. So we tried to like get like blue tack and like stick it there, so then it would stay in place but still roll. So we built a car which was lightweight, fast, and we tested like loads of batteries to see which one was the strongest and had the most power. So when we used those batteries, we found the strongest one, and we we beat every team in a race. <laughs> so then we helped other people fix their cars, like this one, by making it light, using stronger batteries and stuff like that. Usually I see loads of cars which have massive, like, pollution. First, we created a timeline about like the 1800s. So I have um, the timelines um, and what happened in different years, and how like um, it, the maps changed and what um, what different buildings there were. And yeah, um, we had timeline. Okay. There's also one up there. We went around and like took pictures of like all the old buildings. Some of them had like um, the years on them, um, and um, some had like some um, here. It was probably like a shop, but it was nearly faded away. Um, I was cool to see like the um, that like there was a shop. Like um, it just looked like ordinary houses, but there was like a really old shop there. That. John Kendrick was born in 1573 in Reading. He was the oldest sibling of him and his younger brother, William. John's father died when John was just 15 and his brother 11. And then we created our, like, fact file thing about the Battle Workhouse and John Kendrick. Mm -hmm. So we just, like, kind of wrote about all of the, like, from when it became, from when John Kendrick died to when it became a Tesco. There was a workhouse here, because I didn't know that. I thought they were actually quite bad, but this one was okay. Why was it okay? Because they didn't treat people badly. They treated them nice and like fed them. Yeah, so yeah. But in other workhouses, they would treat them badly. I've been asked by Reading Borough Council to create a large mural on Bedford Road to showcase the community. As a class, we have been to a mural whilst it was being created and use it as an inspiration to design and create our own Each of us creates a brainstorm of ideas about the Oxford Road and what it means to us, then created an a foot design to contribute to the land. We chose the medium we wanted to use. Some of us chose watercolour, some pencils, some plastics, and some chose to keep our, our black and white. We created a little room to theme our band and celebrate what the Oscar means. First, I'll finish space!
with listening to our presentation today, and more importantly, you have managed to learn something new about our fabulous community. We are really proud to live and work along the Oxford Road and have enjoyed learning about its incredible history, as well as thinking about how it might change in the future. Thank you for coming.